Uh, welcome back to Zodin Guitars. Just another update. Um, yeah, got the body shaped out. Uh, cut it down and then routed it out around my template. I've also put some plug holes in here to take some weight out of the actual body. It has relieved a fair bit of the weight. I will be taking some more out through some routing here and where the hardware. You can see I've just done a little mock-up. I've actually got two bridge pieces here just as a mock-up to see where everything's going to lay out. Um, just so I don't knock any plug holes where I shouldn't be. So I'm going to traditionally these kind of volume knobs went up on an angle like so. Um, I don't really like it. So I'm going to be um, putting them there, put a plug hole in here for the, the jack switch. Um, I'm going to be doing a um, scratch plate, but first and foremost I'm going to be putting about a 6mm veneer over the top with some um, Distress Jarra. So um, I've done a little bit more on the neck as well. So you can see here, sorry for the bad camera work, got the holes marked for the um, stock. Um, shape the neck. Still not finished. I haven't finished up here. I'm going to wait till I butt it up against the um, actual guitar. Got to take a lot of wood out of here. But I, I've left this chunky so I can put it in the vise and um, do whatever work I've got to do with it and I'll cut it down and, and house it all out uh, as the final movement. Um, so it's looking quite good. I've put the, um, the veneer on the, the headstock. So um, yeah, it's looking quite nice or looking how I want. So um, yeah, a lot of work's gone into it. So a lot of filing and still a lot of sanding to do. But I'm quite happy with the way it's progressing. Uh, I'm going to put the dots in. So I'm thinking of using some um, some stainless steel nails and then distressing them. So the whole look at look of the guitar is going to be distressed. So um, I've got a lot of kit to buy. But um, yeah, it's progressing quite nicely. So I'll um, I'll drill the the holes from the machine head uh, when I get the machine heads in, um, just so I can make sure I've sized them correctly. I'm pretty sure they're 10 mil, but I'll just wait and see how we go. But um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So basically, I've got to split down some Jarrah boards now and make some 6 mil veneers um, and also route out a lot of the, um, probably where the jack goes. I'll route these out now. I'll take out the cavity for the, the, the control knobs. Um, I'll also route a, um, a track from here up into to the cavity here. So just makes it a lot easier when you want to run the cables uh, later. I don't need to worry about any fancy long drill bits to try and make it from here to here. So normally if it didn't have the um, scratch plate or whatnot, I'd probably take it up into the pickup through here and through here for the wiring. So um, because I'm putting a veneer on, I'll just run it straight across. Um, it should be uh, good to go. All right, I'll uh, keep you updated as things progress. Thanks.